new Life Search feature is now available for all the EDR Nix DRB Defender Graffiti Zone customers. In order to use it, the Life Search feature needs to be activated on the endpoints. To do this, the customer will navigate to the endpoint policy which they are using and edit it to have the Life Search option active. Once the policy is saved and received by the endpoint, the functionality will be activated in a few moments' time. To start hunting, the user will navigate to the left menu of the web console, to the Incidents menu and from there choose the Search feature. Under the Live tab, you can find the Live Search, which is a very powerful tool, very useful for both the security and system administrators who would either like to find security indicators or find all of the information about the systems and the applications installed on them. Now, the sections under the left panel. We have the information about the recent queries. These are the queries which we recently ran as a Gravity Zone user. We then have the saved queries. These are the queries which were created or modified and saved by us, the user. The featured section contains highlighted predefined queries which are coming directly from Bdefender Labs and are either queries related to recent events in the cyber threat landscape or recently added to the predefined queries library by our forensic teams. And, as mentioned already, the predefined section contains all the rest of the Bdefender provided predefined queries, providing the user with over 300 queries to start with and query across the organization from the get-go. When running a query, we can choose to filter which operating systems to have it run on. As some queries use operating system specific tables. We can also choose to filter out some specific endpoint computers individually, and we can also use the Gravity Zone tags to filter the query targets. Also, be aware that live search queries will run only on computer endpoints that are online and managed at the moment the query is run. So, let's start with the query. We have two possibilities. We can of course use one of the predefined queries and run it as it is. I would like to find all of the queries related to remote desktop. For this, we can use the query search at the top of the left side panel. By filling in the search terms, the queries are filtered out to only those which match the search across all of the four sections of the panel. We would now want to search for all the users with local remote desktop permissions on the endpoint. So we will click this query and it will immediately be displayed in the right panel. Before running it, as mentioned, we can customize the target filters, operating system, endpoint names or gravity zone endpoint tags. As we run the query, we can see at the bottom of the screen that the status is in progress, how many endpoints are expected to reply with results and how many endpoints responded so far. Once the query run completes, we can click the metadata bar and open a full screen metadata grid, which contains detailed information about the query run, like query execution time for each endpoint, how many rows were returned, and also the final status and the eventual error message if the case for each endpoint. In the main query panel, we can now see the results grid populated with all the data returned by the live search query. We can also create a custom query starting from scratch. For this, we can use the new query entry, which is a blank query located under the featured section. You can start writing right away. If you need help with the tables and columns available to query, you can access the table side panel by using the help question mark button in the top right corner of the query syntax text box. In our case, let's create a simple query that will search for the applications installed on the Windows computers. For this, we can use the tables uh, panel search to locate the tables related to programs, let's say. So we can now see the table name and we can expand the results to show the table fields by which we can query. The live search is using OS Query, which is an SQL Lite compatible query language, so the syntax for our query will be in SQL format. For example, we want the name, the version of the applications, the install locations and the app publisher. So we use the select clause and then type the column names in the query verbatim as seen under the tables panel. We will then tell LiveSearch from what table to retrieve these columns by using the from clause 
and the name of the table is programs. And now we can run the query and after a few seconds we should see the results coming in. And here it is indeed, we have the information about the software applications with the requested information columns about each one of them. Indifferent from how you choose to create and run a query, you can always download the results in CSV format to process and use them outside of the Gravity Zone console.